Hey guys, it is Josh from Justin guys. Welcome back to part number five of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So just a quick recap on what we did previous episode. Um, we found the book for the Hawk Lumps, found the Severing Charm, and now we're just on our way to go and save Neville from the tapestry. As you can see we've got the uh, the Defindo Charm. So yeah, let's carry on. Also, once again. Thank you so much for all your support on the videos. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got to go back up to the Gryffindor common room. Mr. Potter, what on earth is... Oh! What's happened here? I don't know. I found him like this. Follow me, Potter. Harry was taken to Professor Dumbledore's office. Professor, I swear I didn't. Where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, well, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Forks, Professor Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. And, of course, Professor Dumbledore himself. I know you're not the attacker, Harry, but I must ask you whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. <laughs> come. Come to me. Let me rip you. Nobody thinks like that, let's be honest. Let me tear you. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor. Now, Harry, what a fucking pointless journey that was. Also, I lost all my fucking jelly beans last last episode. Was not impressed. Damn, rudely interrupted. Whoa. I know you can search for these deaths. can find you these days. Ok, 
Okay, so... How does one... Go about leaving this area? Aha, uh -huh, just out here. Wonderbar. Go free Nevile. Terry, I thought I was never going to get out of there. Sorry, I never went there, you fucking nice worried, child. Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. All this I'm excitement, Nearly had bitch. Nearly been attacked, and I... I'll, I'll tell you in the morning. All this excitement, bitch, you stood there. You didn't need to shut. I bet you someone got this freaking chest. Number 65, Gondoline Oliphant. Can we end the day now? We certainly can. Let's end the day. See what tomorrow will bring. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. What the fuck? You can't get house points at night. Slytherin. We've got first thing. It's defense against the dark hearts, Harry. With Gilderoy Lockhart. Her face is fucking incredible. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the dark hearts class. So third floor, almost certain. As they just said, so let's go to the third floor for defense against the dark arts. Also, I apologise if my voice sounds a bit croaky. I went to uh, football yesterday, and um, yeah, I, I like to, you know, shout, scream, whatever. So my voice is kind of going a little bit. Also, I apologise that I am. Um, well, because today, when I'm recording this, is Sunday, so you'll be watching this on Monday. The reason why I didn't put an episode out yesterday is because I was just genuinely too tired yesterday. I'd work in the morning, went to football in the afternoon, I'd work in the evening. So by the time I got to bed, it was about 11, half 11, and I just didn't want to record because I didn't think I'd be able to provide the usual quality for you guys. 
Snape, dang, them pants. Excellent. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spellbook somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spellbook in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. Or you could stop being a shit teacher and just hand me the spellbook and then we can progress. <laughs> Suppose that Expelliarmus spellbook is down those stairs. Because <gasps> that seems like a uh, teaching health and safety standard to me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I do I have to flip into it? I don't understand what I'm doing. And Harry died. Right. Alright, so lucky enough, I always keep a uh, game FAQ next to me. Okay, so. On the path you see. Uh, okay, press one of them, three mines will come out. Run away. When they start going after you, one by one, dodge them. Then flipendo them on the way back. Do this to all of them for both the switches.
Okay. Yeah, I understand now. Hashtag Harry Potter's fucking animal abuse. Freaking throwing them across. Fucking throwing them off shit. Almost freaking certain. I knew I'd seen it. Get out of here. Fucking shut. Can we take a minute to realise that those things were just floating in mid-air? Oh, you bastard. How?
That is impossible. Right. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay. Okay, get the pumpkin pass. You got that. Pump to the enemy. Yeah, go left. Remember to constantly flip end of the enemies to prevent getting burned. But that evidently does not work, does it? <gasps> it doesn't work! That is really fucking annoying. How is that physically possible to do? Like, you're leaving Harry Potter with freaking third degree burns for life. That is some absolute freaking madness. So we can pretty much just skip this first one. Oh my god! I'm getting so angry. Seriously, this is so freaking tough, guys. You don't even understand.
Oh my fucking god! Honestly, I am so mad right now. Seriously, this is freaking impossible, right? It says you're supposed to constantly flip under them to stop them from attacking you. Evidently, it does not fucking work, does it? So my Harry is freaking now called the boy who got burned by metal freaking pigs. Oh yeah, because that fucking works. Oh mate, this is a fucking write-off. Well and freaking true. I'm gonna have one more attempt. And if not, I'm ugh, I might just have to rage quit so hard. This is just freaking madness. Genuine madness. Oh my god, he's not even fucking hitting me. Give me that fucking pumpkin fucking pasty shit. Yeah, you fucking like that, don't you, you bitch? Yeah, that's right, mate. Give me that fucking spell work, I deserve it. You just know there's going to be a boss fight, don't you? You just... You can just tell. <clears throat> okay. Expelling armor's dueling. Charm lies at the heart of good. Choose to rerun the opponent's phone. Hope we'll strike the opponent. Okay. So, for now, we're going to put it as B. Oh, what a fucking coincidence. I am fucking dead already. Damn. Right, I'm going to make this episode a shite longer because I'm getting really mad. And if I don't 
If I don't do it now for you guys, then I ain't never going to do it. Hashtag pray for Josh in the comments. So how do we actually use this expelling armor spell? Okay. Repels. Alright, well, it was the box. I've actually taken off. Gotta physically hold down. Build it up and bam. Bam. Boom! Fucking gargoyle down! Eat shit, you motherfucker! Whoa, damn, that was that was rage worthy. Well and truly, guys. I have to head back. Hopefully. Potter, 40 house points for Gryffindor. Now I'd like you to use the Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. First duelist to gain five points wins the duel. Very well then, one's at the ready. Did Harry just do the, three? did Harry just do the, you can't see this? Yeah, Potter, you wish. One, two. Three. 
Oh, what? Oh, my God. Clutched it. Clutched it. It's not cheating. I'm just winning. Lol. Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. That's why the symbol of the serpent. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. You'll find that hard to prove. He lived about a thousand years ago. For all we know, you could be. Anyway, we've got Quidditch practice next at the Quidditch Stadium. I'll meet no shit, Ron. <laughs> Fucking no shit. Right, let's take our, our spoils. What we deserve. Right, what was that chest? I know I saw a chest somewhere. Must have been yeah, right here. Okay, I didn't mean that, but it's just good. Apparently we can't get that. Right. So let's head out and see if we can find ourselves a save point as well. Yeah, this episode has been slightly extended. And also, if you are watching this, um, I'm not 100% sure I might release a second episode at 6pm to make up for not uploading Sunday. But, yeah. So, guys, we're going to call out an episode, as I say. And until then, we will see you next time. Bye.